we're, uh, I don't know how we're doing it, but we're on time. So I build this to 515 because of the extra innings we had to, to do for, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, we got through that one all right. Uh, I'm going to do another one. So I'll, I'll tell you for, for an amount of money, I will tell you who wanted me to write, but no, I'm kidding. Wanted me to recite my own stuff. Um, uh, actually, this is the last poem of my first collection of stuff called I'm Sober, but there's still hope. <laughs> Narrative, subtitled Narrative Verse with an Attitude. And I've left a display copy over there if anybody wants to look at it. And if somebody wants one, I'm sure, sure, sure Miss Jean could, could, could help you with it. Could I ask for an applause for Miss Jean? She does. We, we, she gets applauded for yoga in the mornings, but she, if, this wouldn't work if, if it wasn't for Jean. Because I wouldn't get out of bed. I mean, no one. Um, this poem is entitled Rollicking Requiem. Um, people tell me I'm going to die, and I haven't bought into that uh, much yet. But on the outside chance that that's the case, I came up with my own funeral liturgy. What do you think of that? Uh, there are a couple of phrases in here that would need amplification. Probity, uprightness in one's dealings. And then the expression, a pithy Jeremiah, a, a short, bitter tale of woe. And then one of my little favorite things, uh, Saturnine propensity. In astrology, uh, you, if you were born under the influence of the planet Saturn, which takes about 30 years to rotate around the sun, incidentally, um, you were figured to be inclined to have a grave or gloomy personality. And lastly, uh, Wednesday's child, um, almost another form of astrology where you attributed uh, behavioral traits to a person by the day of the week that they were born. And uh, so, in fact, I, have to, I will read the eight lines of the poem, Wednesday's Child. Um, this, this whole uh, thing of, do, of, of that prognostication, that forecasting, goes back centuries. Uh, and this poem, uh, I think, was first recorded in the mid-19th century. It's called Monday's Child. Monday's Child is fair of face, Tuesday's child is full of grace. Wednesday's child is full of woe. Thursday's child has far to go. Friday's child is loving and giving. Saturday's child works hard for the living. And the child born on the Sabbath day is bonnie, blithe, good, and gay, in the original sense of the word, of course. <laughs> Not that I have begrudged the other form, it's just to be clear. I've had to say, change some, oh well, change, change some poetry when you use certain words nowadays that have new meanings. All right, rollicking requiem. There's this one and one more and then you can go to happy hour. You can go to happy hour now if you want, but anyway. As back and limbs grow wearier and lose their elasticity, I start to think how it will end and muse on my mortality. Life sure has been one steady grind and when all things are said and done, it seems I've known more angst and grief than comforts, riches, love, or fun. There have been times and may yet be I've envied rest amongst the dead, but somehow mustered every day strength to persevere instead. Such morbid thoughts thus prompt these words as I reflect upon my past. Seems only right that when I go, I'm sent off with a real blast. And it must be in New Orleans where I have often gone to play. And though it's hot in summertime, I froze that one Thanksgiving day. We'll travel to the quarter then or more precisely, vous carré, where they'll know how to party there on that so final fateful day. 
And I expect you'll have some fun whatever season of the year because the town is always full of those who thirst for some good cheer. And dungarees and tanker tops, or if you're dressed in fancy clothes, one's outfit will not matter much for this event that I propose. We'll need a horse and buggy first, and teamster gentle on the reins, who will wear top hat and tails in black as they convey my last remains. Please find a steed with head held high to add a touch of dignity when our procession passes by, if any there should care to see. But we'll provide incentive then for those that might just stand and gawk as will supply a cart of beer beside which my cortege may walk. You'll have to find some pretty girls, some tawdry ladies of the night resplendent in their finery to egg as, as in our pagan rite, for they could make the spigots flow on ample kegs of ice cold beer and dole out one last largesse for the curious who venture near. If you find photos from my life, you could have fixed them to the cart, so strangers get a glimpse of me before it's time that I depart. In some you'll see a happy face, in others sadness as I roamed. Both solitude and fame I sought, and wanderlust much I have known. In this pictorial history will it be clearly recognized that I raced forward futilely while pending ultimate demise. But wait, let's mourn another time because we played this day for fun for turnaround and you will hear a marching band playing fife and drum resplendent in their bright red coats, musicians at least 20 strong who play some jazz and honky talk as they escort our troop along. We'll meet at noon on Frenchman Street where it joins up with Esplanade. Then on Decatur, we'll head west. On that, my final promenade. And all we meet should be embraced, and none should leave well feeling sad. Please share a cup for good times spent and have one more to shun the bad. Vocation won't exclude you here. Your race or nationality will give drink to the devil too if he'll share our frivolity. We'll even throw medallions out like in a Mardi Gras parade to celebrate a life unique and this is what we'll have them say. I was adopted at birth, by the way. Unwanted, Wednesday's child was born. An introspective life led he, who labored under conscience torn as he aspired to probity. A pithy Jeremiah then inscribed for all who'd care to see, though you'll accuse this Scorpio of Saturnine propensity. But wouldn't this be better than a hackneyed sterile elegy as mouthed by some staid clergyman in tones sad yet perfunctory? So revel then throughout the day, and when we quit about sundown, as all the locals go to dine, we'll give them back their restless town. I wonder if they'll pause a bit as they are heading off to home and think about the lives they have, for then must I go on alone. So thanks, Big Easy, in advance, your graciousness a paragon and wish you all have boundless days when those of mine are finally gone. Rollicking Requiem, ladies and gentlemen.